Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to FIFA 23 and WSL Portland Thorns. And we are on episode number five here today. We're also up to fifth in the standings. As poorly as we've started now at three wins, three losses, definitely starting to get the hang of things. Or was the last match a total fluke? We will find out soon enough. But on the player stat stats side of things, it's Ebony Salmon who leads the league. Of course, she scored a hat trick against us or maybe four goals against us in the opener but has still amassed you know five or six additional goals since then christy Mius with five goals impressive but it is sophia smith who sits second overall with more goals than matches play doing really well morgan uh, sitting on four balser for ol rain didn't score any against us so that was good thing uh on the team stat side of things things look like this we still have a number of players eight to be exact that have played in every match so far and i'm trying to get that rotation going a fair bit and at some point that will include sitting smith i will not play her every single game kuika klingenberg coffee all having sat one Menges has played in four three of those or all four of those coming off the bench with dunn Moultrie each playing in three, Becky having played twice, McGrady, Nally each getting a start, and a number, number of players that I have every intention at some point getting into at least a couple of games on the season. But in terms of goals, it is Sophia Smith with seven. Of course, that is second in the league, but Sagita coming in clutch with four, Sinclair with two, Coffee with one. Weaver, disappointing to be this far in the season. Six matches played and no goals as of yet. And the assists, I like to spread the ball around for sure. Sinclair with four, Smith two. McGrady got two assists in that game. Wow, impressive. Uh, Dunn, Weaver, Cuica, and Rodriguez all getting one. No clean sheets as of yet. We have been unable to manage that even in that last dominating performance. We still gave up a goal. Two yellow cards on the season is all. I think the average here is your rating, as in 8.4 for McGrady in her one appearance, but of course that was such a dominating game, including two assists. Nally also has had a very good single appearance with an 8.0. Kawika, averaging a 7.8, apparently has been the best player uh, so far. Smith, hit and miss, really good games. Some really poor games where I can't get the ball to her and can't make anything happen. Sagita, Bixby, doing well. And the ones that are struggling, Sinclair, Weaver, definitely. Becky, yes, that, that left wing position has been a bit weak for us. Crystal Dunn, oh, sad to see. But it, she's been coming on in kind of difficult games for the most part. So I think that's part of the reason for that. Same with Mengus uh, for the most part. And... Yeah, Moultrie. It's hard to get things going with Moultrie with such a uh, low evaluation compared to what it really should be. But we will continue to try to give her occasions here and there. What is her, what is her ratings really like, by the way? So rather slow. Doesn't have much going on physical attribute-wise uh, with decent reactions, though. Low composure, interceptions, attacking position, vision vision should be significantly higher like i said top five in the league i said a few episodes ago top five in the league in chances created last year per 90 minutes key point on that one because she played just under half the minutes of the season a bit under i think maybe 40 percent i i definitely expect her to not play every day this season but i i expect that to jump definitely the other side of 50 and probably above 60 percent I, I do think she's going to end up taking that spot over sinclair a lot as sinclair is going to get you know less and less time at her age and with her declining uh, speed and skills have largely remain unchanged and that's why she's such a legend but anyway ball control is good crossing or curve dribbling is good finishing is fairly good and i think that's pretty accurate now 17 years of age I do think that there might be another inch coming for her. Uh, obviously, somebody who was recently just 16 and just now turning 17, she has not done growing yet. And I test during preseason, not up horribly close, but she definitely looks like she added an inch and a half or so uh, in terms of her height and 
bulked out a little bit. She's she put on some muscle uh, from last year to this year. I don't know if she was hitting the weight room, but looking pretty solid. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And on the menu today, action from the NWSL. It's the Washington Spirit, and they take on the Portland Thorns. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. By the way, one thing that is fairly unique to a league like the NWSL compared to your English pyramid this is uh, how it looks for the or side. many many other leagues well, they're starting with an attacking tough four lineup here Hatch, Sanchez, Sullivan, Rodman all super dangerous really need to, to watch out for those four at the right time. Uh, they can do a lot of damage and I do have some changes of course I am giving the start to Moultrie after talking her up like that we, we've got to give her another shot and see if we can raise that rating a bit uh, and Manga is also starting in place of Hudley today. This is the lineup Hudley the got the Iron today. Woman well, award no last year, really. played every they're minute of the season. Here, but there are many different ways they can approach like said, this game. Under, underrated here. Today. Missing a star, by the way. Should have three. They've got it on the uniform now. Though that's last year's jersey. That's okay. I don't mind not seeing this year's away jersey. <laughs> Though, I will admit, after the leaked photo of it looked absolutely appalling, seeing it in person, seeing the full outfit, and it so looks better. Commences. It's not pure white. It's it's like a cream. Uh, so that helps. I'm not a fan of the white uniforms at all. That's just not my thing. But Well, nearly <sighs> And I was talking about something and I already completely forgot about it. Let me just move on to the next thing. Um, supporting this team over, say, the other Portland uh, soccer team, professional Megan version. Uh, and that league Ponto in general. Uh, I'm not a fan of the MLS and men's soccer in the U.S. for a, kind of a key reason. As we... Uh, oh... Feels like a wasted opportunity when, oh, she takes me out and, and, nah, she doesn't. Nah, she doesn't. I'm, I'm fooling if I, if I think that. Not sure why their icon is kind of grayed out. And then some of it actually is set up correctly. You can see how it's grayed out here as well. I coach multiple sports and... I coached this sport for a very long time as we are through. There's that extra pass tap in and we're up 1-0 just inside the 14th minute. So very early. I coach volleyball, girls volleyball. I coach girls basketball. I coach boys basketball. And I uh, coach boys and girls track these days. I have, of course, coached this particular sport many many occasions uh, I mentioned in the first episode I have a couple of uh, got plenty of experience coaching here it's just my, de my well, league does not have uh, the last school that I taught at before I got out of teaching and opened my daycare Weaver. which I still coach there that's the same Plenty school uh, and we're through can they and we're in Yes! Yes! That's two! Inside 20 minutes. I've coached U15 girls. I've coached uh, high school girls. I have coached high school boys, U18 boys, and player coached a men's team. I have player coached co ed uh, indoor. I have coached futsal and player coached futsal. I've had a lot of experience. Coaching boys, Ashley coaching Sanchez. girls, coaching men, coaching women. Now and what I have found in my experience, while I enjoy all of the above, well, the pass not finding its uh, there is no complaints from me with Morgan either Weaver. in general. Oh, oof. 
defense could have cut that out, but uh, didn't read that well enough. Rodman's dangerous, but I think Rodman oh, still still has some work to do. To uh, definitely is not there yet, but man, oh man, is she going to be dangerous? I think her uh, her dad is very underrated as easily one of the greatest rebounders of all time. Oh, too much of a touch! I I took uh, my finger off the sprint and hoped that I would end up with a softer touch. A bit sloppy in possession. It's two mistakes I've made there. Oh, wow. Hello, foul. Oh, she just gets there at the same time and does just enough. It's definitely going to take the touch because there was no way you're getting a shot through that body like that. Good interception. Yeah, really giving me too much. Oh, what a touch. That's not the pass I was looking for, but we'll take it. I was looking to pass the ball to uh, Hagita, and she she was still making the run past the defense. Hadn't quite overtaken her to the point where I just was running out of space and finally had to try to do the pullback and get the late run pass in there, and that ended up getting blocked. Almost was going to be another, maybe could have had that chance with uh, with Smith herself, but of course, I know my weakness. I know my weakness, and I know underway. what my strength is and where I'm getting the goals all of a sudden. Wow, the Wave are up three nil on OL Rain. Anybody particularly tired? Well, she's not having the greatest of games, but certainly better than the previous ones. I set up that double team scenario, and then it just doesn't materialize. Oh, uh, not the pass. That was laying it off to my keeper. I am a, I'm a center back. I like to lay it off to, well, <laughs> depends on which keeper I was playing back. By the way, okay, here's the thing about my mentality and back to what I've been talking about. And by different, as they pull one back, good finish there. The mentality of a lot of the players are a lot of the Smith. boys that I've worked with, a lot of the, the women well, the I've worked with, it's different on the mentality side. And you get a lot of uh, female players well, that away, just want to work, are humble, and, and we've She's got back to our two-goal lead, goal and it's Sagita again! You got a lot of players that are just committed to the game. Uh, they want to get better. They want to improve. And a lot of the men that I've worked with, or boys that I've worked with in particular, just have these unshakable... Oh, that's not the long ball you need. Jeez, that's nowhere near it. That was barely played in front of her. Oh, come on, Quika. Come on, Quika. Rodman does have pace, for sure. Oh, uh, Quika! Quika, what are you doing? What are you doing, Quika? And you see it out here even at the professional level where the girls get on with it. In fact, a couple of matches back, I, I noted how uh, Alex Morgan was phenomenal at taking nothing and turning it into a foul, taking just the lightest of contact and seeing it as Natalia something Kulika. that can become... Uh, well, she keeps moving become something more and players waiting in the center on the keeper taking finally decided to take that shot and see how that one does not pan out for me and why that extra pass has been my go-to and becoming uh, Ashley a Hatch. pretty effective go-to finally here after a number of matches
She didn't send get the ball. I dribbled that direction, not her. Wow, that was a penalty. Oh, I was trying to lay it off for Weaver. Trying to lay it off for Weaver in the best position there. Where's Kawika? You get the squeeze and then the player doesn't help with it. Here I get the squeeze, but made the light contact on the lead up to it. Water S aren't going to give that as a foul, but some will. It certainly can be called a foul. She delivered a lot of power and didn't somehow blast that high. Subs, Hubbly. See, my marking positioning here is so much better than what the AI's is. Ooh, I missed that one though. Fortunately, they missed. That was Rodman. And that would be, for me, that's kind of expected Rodman. Doesn't have the accuracy yet. Has some work to do. Reminds me of Weaver a bit, but definitely faster, more, you know, higher end potential kind of stuff. But it is the 90th minute. What a pass. That was perfect. Again, I'm desperate to get Weaver a goal. I'm sorry, Smith. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Smith. Uh-oh. Blocked. Goal. Time's already up. Game was already over. Jeez. Full minute beyond time, and there was no extra stoppages, but that clearance gets deflected, and that's, that's all me. That's all me. My bad. Good thing we had a two-goal cushion, because uh, that was the final touch of the game, I'm sure. Yep. Still get all three points. Worthwhile on that part, I suppose. Mistake. Uh, that's what I was talking about. Unique thing to a league like the NWSL. You don't get away fans. Away fans don't exist. They're not there. Something as close as Portland, Seattle, you'll get a tiny amount. Uh, but there is no dedicated away section. The closest thing to an away section that we would have at Providence Park is the Sagita fan base, uh, which is not entirely, but certainly a, a large group of Japanese supporters that live in the Portland area that come out and all sit together and, and wave a Japanese flag. So it's our kind of our international oh, section. Uh, and there's obviously nothing away about that as Sagita putting that one in the back of the net and playing tremendously. She plays for us. Hello, great to be with you. This is the scene here at Providence Park in the city of Portland, Oregon. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And on the menu today, action from the NWSL. It's the Portland Thorns, and they take on Gotham FC. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. New York, New Jersey, Gotham was a team that was in last place a season ago, but in the final match of the season, rightfully so, they played their hearts out, stole the Supporters' Shield from Portland, the best regular season record in their home stadium. This time we are at home, but this time I am making those roster changes done in at the left wing and Betford getting probably her only start of the year. Uh, maybe one more later on, but Smith on the bench. Can we score without her? It was totally my bad last time out that I took one or two goals away from her to try to get the and ball to Weaver so that we could, Weaver could finally score. Well, no Christy really, Mewis has been their leading here, scorer, but, but this is not the same roster from a year ago. Game, They've got Mewis. They've got Lynn Williams. Today, They've got Merge, per, uh, Midge Purse and Allie Krieger in her final season and Kelly O'Hara. They have totally rebuilt that roster this year and should be far more competitive than a season ago. Now, I like Hannah Betford, but uh, she... Oh, what? What was that, Hubley? Ah, come on, AI. Holy crap. That was a nightmare scenario. I couldn't really get firm control of the player. Finally get some weight to our through ball, but 
not getting it in the location that I desired and probably was going to get picked off anyway. Yeah. That was it. Untouched too many again. I've done that so many times. I should have laid that off for Betford, but I was nervous that she didn't quite have the space that she needed there. Sagita is through. Dropped in the box, but apparently she got the ball. I think she did. I do think she did. Fans thought it was a penalty. I certainly had my doubts, but I do think it was fair. I thought I missed it for a second, but I do not. Sagita! Sagita! Again, again, again. Oh. Hina! Sagita! Now, mentality. I was telling you, mentality is so important to me, and I think it's major. And there's a reason why I am not playing anymore. Now, I, I, amateur Sunday League stuff, but I've I've played with some talent. Okay, uh, my background. I got out of the, I got out of the sport way too early when I was young. Uh, it was in between, uh, just before the MLS was reborn. And so there was no professional league. There was nothing on TV. There was nothing to Not draw my interest except for World Firing Cups, which my parents weren't a fan well, at that time of watching the World Cup. So I was playing be. youth soccer as an 11-year-old in the U15s and absolutely dominating. I was easily so one of the top can. couple players on my team. And I had skill. I had talent. And we are through. Betford is going to get a chance. And she gets her goal. <laughs> Slams it into the post on the second chance there. Wow, Bedford. Probably savable, but so close range. That's that's tough. I didn't take the extra touch that time. Slotted it right into the bottom corner. Keeper needs to take that angle away from you and force you to go the opposite way. And then save it if you can. Make it a tough shot for you. Make it a tough angle. She didn't. She gave us that inside corner, and we took it. All my friends were in middle school with me. And all my friends wanted to play football, American football. So I did. And it came during the in soccer season. And so I sadly quit a sport that I was really, really good at and loved. But because the NFL was on TV all the time, the NBA was on TV, I wanted to play basketball. I wanted to play the NFL. Well, not, not necessarily play in the NFL, but I wanted to play football. And, and Dunn loses away. that one. Good tackle. She cut me out well. Took my angle away. There we go. Good defensive play. Oh, big tackle there. Oof. Williams. Clean one. Totally clean. An alert intervention. Good block. Bedford. Sinclair. Nope. Can't quite feed that one through. Nope. That's offside anyway. That shouldn't be called offside. The ball never reaches her. So I got out of the sport way too early, but I did end up playing at a relatively high level. I played in an A, a division with, uh, you know, pro reg league for a national one overseas, and teammates of mine were Hong Kong national players, Hong Kong professionals. Great through ball. Can we get there first? Not quite. Transferred to. Tottenham of all teams he never made it out of their reserve squad and ended up with bad knees and career ended but I've played against lots of former professionals of you know Hong Kong played four played against a Hong Kong uh, professional team once and anyway point being as Kweka but I quit playing recently and at 41, okay, fine, that's that's a thing. But Sunday League, you should be able to still do it at 41. But I have had six concussions. I've had two torn ACLs. Bedford gets another. Are you kidding me? Wow. My offensive play has gotten so much better from those first four matches or so. Oh, and that was final touch before halftime. What a half. But all those concussions, one of those ACL tears, a lot of the injuries I've had over the years were preventable if I were playing somewhere else. Because when I did play overseas, 
I didn't have the injuries. Now, age is a factor as you get older. But playing, playing back in, in the U.S., uh, playing indoor 10 years, twice a week straight, in every Saturday, Sunday. Big chance. And it goes. The injuries. The, goal for one -nil. the injuries the are preventable, the but the men are overly aggressive in the U.S. It it's our be. nature. We play ultra-physical, and we don't play with enough skill. The women's game isn't quite like that. The MLS is absurdly like that, in my opinion. I think it's... They rely on physicality far, far too much and don't play to their strengths, don't play to their skills. The league that I ooh, bet for definitely loses out on that one. Nice interception. Interesting choice from, from Purse. Offside, offside, offside again. Not offside, apparently. Oh, and Bedford can't get the pass in there. Winning the header, but... Not able to challenge, able to challenge more or less, getting a foot in. Olivia Not the pass Moultrie. I was looking for, but it gets in there. Could probably have that through ball, but... I'm disappointed with uh, how poor Coffee's defending is on here, where in real life she's able to get... That's four, wow! We've really found a rhythm here lately. And this is what got me <laughs> out of FIFA in years past, is it becomes a little too easy. It does play so much more like a sim than it used to, though. But it's still... Covers the ball. Whoa! That is studs up straight into the player taking the leg out. I'm shocked that that's not... Uh, even if you win ball. Not seem not determined to be a dangerous play. Oh, good control, but then my own player shields me and takes away my space. Switching it up as they were starting to crowd that side on me a bit. Not the pass I was looking for, but offside, offside, offside. Other leagues. Okay. Premier League is a balanced mix. There's a ton of skill. Uh, such a fast, fast sequence of games that they play in the Premier League. And so even though they are physical, I appreciate it. They, they play clean. Lacks physicality for the most part. You, you, know, you only had a few players that were really physical. This should still be on as the uh, other center back was not the same. Oh, bet for the shot just did not show up. She took a touch instead of taking the shot. Disappointing. And Dunn was supposed to pass right away to Sagita, but... Out for the corner. Didn't have any teammates in kind of the right position. The drop back to the edge of the box would lead to a poor shot for me, but even then, that was the what I was about to be looking for, but we end up losing it out. Oh, thought we were going to get that one, but... Oh, we lost it! No, no, no! Ooh, she got a touch before it went out, because that was a, clearly off Bixby, so... Oh, I held it way too long. That is totally my bad. I saw space, and then the space closed, and I lost. I was looking for the, uh, for Nally on the outside. Pass that I was hoping to make, Yasmin which would have been Ryan. the direct pass, but okay. Plenty of Ooh, support here. not make a good one there. Can I recover and get a body on her? Yes, I can. Coffee ball. finally makes a defensive stop, something she has been a little bit allergic to. Betford. Through ball might have been good, but Betford is not great on through balls. There we go. Really get up Dribbled the our way here. into a chance. And the feed into the box. Betford! Going for the glorious bicycle kick, but cannot get there. Clean sheet, and four goals, and Smith getting a rest. Wow. What a performance. What a performance from the team. Hey, wrapping up that story that I've been talking about for this one, uh, I think 
I think the women's game is pure football. Now, they might not be the most skilled compared to Rashford, Mbappe, uh, Messi. You know, there, there are obviously men's players that might perform at a higher level. However, they, they play for the love of the game. They play in a good, clean manner. That's why I can't stand somebody like Fishlock, who is just out there ch 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 chirping all day long, uh, causing problems all the time. And I appreciate the demeanor. And it makes the game exciting. That's going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.